All right, let's get our session started today. Welcome to this live demo presented by our very own Joe Buchanan, uh, Hunter's VP of Sales Engineering. Um, this live demo will focus on how you can attain faster time to value across your SOC workflow using the Hunter SOC platform. It's going to be very short and will allow some time at the end for a live Q&A. So make sure you write any questions on the Q&A box or the chat, and we'll try to get to everyone. Um, just a quick housekeeping item. This session is being recorded. And without any further ado, I think we can get this started. Joe, stage is yours. Perfect. Thank you, Yale. Uh, appreciate everybody taking the time to join. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to take a, a brief moment and walk through uh, kind of the new approach in saving time and help manage your your, uh, your SOC operation. And uh, I mean, most of you are probably familiar with kind of the challenge uh, presently and, you know, using some of the technologies that have come to market, you, you know, in years past that could be exceptionally uh, complex to set up. Uh, costly and, and uh, ingesting the data sources that you need from a, a detection and a um, uh, understanding perspective, but also, you know, jumping past that perception of once you collect these logs, you have to create all these manual rules to really get the most uh, value out of it. So um, with this new approach that we want to walk through with the Hunters platform, it's, we want to concentrate here just for a few minutes on what the opportunity actually looks like and uh, taking a new, more modern approach to take those challenges that we just discussed and uh, tackling them head on. And the first is uh, a lot of organizations, including you know, places that I've worked in the past, really struggled on the amount of data that needed to be ingest, uh, ingested because you, you really need the data in order to make the right decisions or come to the uh, uh, quickest conclusions as fast as possible. And uh, historically, we've had to uh, kind of pick and choose what data that should be ingested based on a, on a cost perspective. Uh, with this new approach, we've really gone be uh, beyond uh, charging on the amount of data that's being ingested, and it's more focused on what are you trying to protect? And we want to ingest as much data as possible to uh, help with that threat detection, but also to help with the automation of, of you know, your SOC workflow. Uh, so once we have all of this data, we're going to apply uh, auto detections and, and auto drill downs. Um, and I'm going to flip over here in just a second and go through a live demonstration. And after, after this, we're actually going to give access to everybody on the call here to you know, get hands on and really understand what this new approach actually looks like. Um, but this is really uh, re reiterating some of the points that I just mentioned. So with hunters, we wanna ingest unlimited data sources and not penalize you on, on uh, picking in these additional data sources to help with threat detection. Uh, once we have all of that data, we're gonna start applying out of the box uh, detections to really bubble up what are the things that you actually need to focus on. Um, and I'll show this when I get into the demo, but just the uh, the auto investigation and the enrichment. So historically, uh, SOC analysts, you know, and myself included, when uh, you're investigating a threat, you know, you're, you're launching a bunch of browser tabs, uh, you're doing research, uh, you're trying to get kind of more opinions from different tools to figure out, is this really a threat that I need to investigate. And a, a lot of time is, is wasted investigating false positives. And that's one of the things that Hunters is helping with is enrich the data as, as um, early as possible, uh, send it through a lot of advanced uh, scoring to really bubble up what are those things you actually need to, uh, uh, to respond to. So help you with that, that response aspect. So just a quick look at the actual, just a visual of the architecture before I flip into the demo. Um, you know, first on the left, we want to ingest as much security telemetry as possible. So this could be from your endpoint type of devices like CrowdStrike, uh, uh, Sentinel-1, uh, Cisco AMP. Uh, but taking it beyond just the alert data, one of the advancements that Hunters has is we'll take in that raw data as well. And that, that's one of the aspects where um, it could be very expensive to send it into kind of traditional tools that, um, that you might have just from a pure volume perspective. 
uh, Hunters wants to take in all that information, including things from like Identity Solutions, Active Directory, uh, Okta, uh, Duo, uh, get into your network uh, uh, type of detections, Palo Alto, Firewalls, uh, Cisco, Fortinet. You know, so anything that you can use from a threat detection standpoint, we want to feed that into the uh, Hunter's SOC platform and then write it into a security data lake. So first and foremost, we want to keep that information for as long as possible. And you could either own the data lake or hunters can actually provide a, a hosted data lake. So we have a, a little bit of flexibility there. Uh, but one important thing is we will write it into a, uh, a common schema because a lot of organizations are you know, building data lakes and then thinking about the threat detection later. And one of the things that hunters provides is as all of this data is being ingested, put it into the right schema so that as we feed it through uh, our detection pipeline, we're able to apply all of these out-of-the-box threat detections. Um, we're able to basically pull apart that, that raw data, put it into a uh, graph modeling, and break apart and um, uh, see what objects or entities or devices are kind of scattered throughout your infrastructure and automatically kind of correlate uh, threats across uh, different uh, dif different detection um, uh, sensors throughout your network and then provide a uh, uh, an automated approach to you know what you're actually looking at so the who what when where uh, behind the scenes we also have uh, threat researchers that are constantly looking at new emerging threats uh, writing new detections pushing it down to the product but also providing a um, and assistance to help with threat detection if it if um, it's needed within your organization. So let me flip over and actually jump into a brief demonstration. Um, so first, what we're actually looking at now is the the Hunter Soft platform. So right right on the main screen, um, uh, going from top to bottom. First, we're gonna start with that data lake. So ingesting all of those uh, telemetry sources that you might have within your environment, uh, logging it first and foremost, so that you do have it uh, for historical purposes. So for IRC searches or incident response, you know, you have that data. But one thing I wanna call it out, call out is this is a SaaS approach. So you're not gonna be limited to, you know, 30, 60, 90 days. Uh, you, you could basically make use of the amount of storage to meet uh, whatever your requirements are. So if you need a year or you need two years, uh, the storage is um, uh, kind of attached to this and you can have that elasticity of, of storing this data for as long as you need. Now with the platform, we're going to automatically start going through all of that raw data and start to look for uh, detections or what we call leads, uh, observations that are happening you know, across your uh, uh, cloud infrastructures or down in your enterprise or within your SaaS solutions. Uh, we'll start to bubble those uh, those leads or detections up, but then starting to feed it through uh, another series of, of scoring models and uh, detection engines so that we basically want to get through the, the noise of just here are some detections and get into the things that, that really matter. And in this uh, specific environment, we went from 249 uh, detections to look at to just 10 things that you really need to concentrate on. Uh, and then lastly, as, as I mentioned before, we uh, basically decouple all of the uh, raw log data that's coming in, understanding what types of things are in your network from users to devices to you know cloud uh, uh, components, and then we'll automatically graph that and cross-correlate uh, uh, threats together. So that's that's what the hot stories are. And I'll actually get into a demonstration of a, of a day in the life of what a uh, SOC analyst would do. But let's start first with um, just adding data sources. So to begin starting to build this data lake, it's as simple as going to data sources. Uh, organizational data is all of the information that you're gonna collect from, uh, from your infrastructure or from your, your environment. So, from things like you know, cloud hosted assets to endpoint devices to firewall type of logs. Uh, we will automatically bring in uh, global sources. So this could be threat intel type of information, um, uh, max mine type of data, tour entry and exit nodes. Uh, you also have the ability to bring in uh, your own threat intel to help with uh, some of this automated approaches. 
But adding a source is as simple as hitting add. Uh, you can see we have a, a handful of devices already enabled here. But if you wanted to turn on like Office 365 as an example, um, you can go into the guide, you know, how you do it. But it's as simple as hitting connect, uh, plugging in the API type of information, hitting apply. And at this point, you know, now you'll have this additional data set coming in for this uh, cross correlation. So once we have that, uh, you know, some of the reasons organizations bring hunters in is, is uh, to actually help with that out of the box detection. So I'm just briefly showing the analytics page where we'll break down detections that we have out of the box, you know, across your enterprise, you know, across AWS, Azure, uh, you have the ability to write your own detections if you want to put your business logic on top of this. But let, let me walk through um, uh, the MITRE ATT&CK uh, framework, how we take all of this data sources, uh, apply that threat detection, but then overlay you know, uh, using the MITRE framework on how covered are you within your organization. So if I take, for example, the Office 365 and added uh, added that as a data source within this environment, you'll actually see the grid change color. So green are the things that we're actively collecting uh, log sources for and uh, where we're actually applying threat coverage across all of these TTPs um, as laid out by the MITRE framework. Uh, if you check another data source that's going to come in to help with this uh, auto enrichment and, and detection, uh, it'll change color to blue. It, any of these you can pivot into to see uh, a description of what it actually means and what log sources are, are helping with this threat detection. Uh, it, anything with this H in here, these are detections that Hunter's uh, research team has actually added above and beyond the, the MITRE attack framework. So it just gives you a, uh, a matrix of, of all of these log sources, what is actually helping to make sure that you have your um, uh, the best footprint from a, a detection standpoint. So flipping over, let me actually walk through what a, a day in a life would look like for the SOC analyst and where a lot of this automation and, and uh, reducing time actually comes in. So in, in the SOC queue, uh, start on this alerts page. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to group and bring like-minded type of detections together. Uh, each, each row would be a, a threat that's emerging in the network. You know, using our, our scoring mechanisms, we're going to bubble up uh, what is the greatest threat within the environment. Uh, we have all the common workflows as far as assigning tasks, um, uh, putting notes here, but simply clicking on any row, uh, Hunters is going to automatically uh, provide all of the details, you know, both from the native detections that have come in. So if I, if I look at this uh, example that came in from CrowdStrike, we're going to give you all of the attributes that was provided by CrowdStrike. We're going to understand uh, who was involved down to the machine, uh, what processes, you know, who the victim or where that uh, threat was actually going, uh, displaying what MITRE techniques is associated with this specific detection. Uh, but drilling through, if I go to things like PowerShell here, I really want to get into um, instead of manually going and doing additional investigations, uh, hunters will go beyond kind of the default attributes and start to bring in all of those uh, auto enrichments. You know, so going out to things like uh, virus total and uh, really crawling the things that a SOC analyst would uh, traditionally manually do. Hunters is going to bring all that into the platform and enrich this data set so that you can, you can uh, reach conclusions a lot quicker and actually react to the, uh, the real threats. And the last thing I will show here before wrapping up is hot stories. And hot stories are taking all of the uh, individual threats that's coming from like your endpoint, your email, uh, your DNS logs, uh, it'll send it through that, that graph correlation engine. If I pick on the second one on the list here, uh, it's, it's going to show who, uh, what users were involved, uh, what devices were involved, both uh, locally in your infrastructure, uh, remote, um, all of the threats that have, that have come in from the various uh, sources that we were collecting this telemetry from. Uh, but here's where this, um, this automatic correlation comes in. So if I pop up the notes here and everybody on the call here will actually get access to the system that I'm walking through right now. 
Um, so you'll be able to actually repeat everything, everything that we're going through and get, you know, a, a better understanding of what's happening. But this threat is instead of an analyst, you know, going through uh, each product one at a time and figuring out what's a threat and trying to piece it together, uh, hunters will take threats from uh, all of the different uh, source devices within the network. And we can actually see uh, this threat actually started from Steve sending an email to Larry. Um, they were related uh, uh, to public IP addresses that were connected. Start to understand the processes that started to uh, execute all the way down to uh, an exfiltration event where data from this machine that was compromised started being pushed out of the network. Um, flipping over to uh, a different view, uh, th this is actually going to take all of that telemetry that I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, where we're going to break it apart, start apply graph modeling, but we're, we're going to understand all of the leads or signals that have come in, uh, what entities or, or uh, objects or users that they actually uh, connected to. And this is where we start to provide that, that auto correlation and understanding of um, uh, really the blast radius and how how widespread this threat could actually be. So flip back to the SOC queue here. So this this was a brief demonstration um, walking you through what the Hunters platform could actually provide, uh, helping with you know the unlimited digest uh, uh, or ingest of bringing all the data in, um, the automatic cross correlation. So instead of looking and investigating it uh, from one product at a time, taking all those together, automatically bubbling up what what do you need to focus on, enriching all of that data set so that you don't have to go uh, manually investigate in other tools and bringing all that information uh, to the SOC analysts. 